Stefan Strandberg. Abwehrspieler. Ein Norweger neu in Hannover. Uh, the city looks uh, very nice and I'm looking forward to, to see more of it uh, in the next couple of weeks and months. And 96, sein Verein. It looks like a strong team with high intensity, like the coach wants us to play. We're very aggressive, attacking football, so my impressions are are very positive. Aber wird das Einleben schwer fallen? I'm open guy, open to to new environments. So if the the city and the people are nice, I think I will have a good time here, as long as it's some good restaurants and. Uh, some good uh, shops so I can have uh, a look around for some new clothes and stuff. Uh, I'll be happy. Fußball als Kind schon seine Leidenschaft. I have uh, two older brothers, uh, five and seven years older than me. Uh, so uh, ever since I just learned to walk, uh, I've played football uh, in the backyard with them. Uh, they were always pushing me and harassing me since I was a little boy. So. Uh, I think football was uh, was meant to be for me. Uh, I've uh, never thought about or had any other dreams. Uh, it's always been uh, football from from day one. Früh war er von Talent gesegnet, aber auch von guten Trainern in seiner Jugend. Uh, I had an unbelievable good coach. Uh, his name is uh, Andrea Loberto. He's an Italian guy. He's uh, yeah. The, the best coach I've ever had. Uh, he's, uh, he lives and breathes football and uh, I still keep in touch with him uh, as often as I can because uh, he is the one who have taught me most football. And, uh Im offensiven Mittelfeld ausgebildet. Tore kann also auch ein Strandberg schießen. I think yeah, my first goal was actually a really, really nice one. From when I was 15 to 18, I played as an offensive midfield player, like a number 10. And in my debut, uh, I scored two goals actually. Uh, the first one was uh, a true ball. It was a little bit on the side, and uh, the goalkeeper came out, and I just chipped it over him. So uh, it was a it was a great debut, and uh, yeah. Bei seiner zweiten Profistation in Oslo fand er schnell einen besonderen Freund in Moa Abdelau. And uh, me and Moa got uh, very close uh, when we played in Valerenga together. Uh, and uh, ever since that we've been uh, we've been close and uh, extremely good friends and uh, but now he's been out so uh, it's hard to see each other so much so you have to keep uh, keep in touch on uh, on the telephone on the internet uh. Strandberg und Abdelau zwei die auf einer Wellenlänge liegen No we had many many uh, fun experiences together but uh, Mua is a relaxed guy just like me uh, he's not the wild uh, Type of guy. He's uh, he's down to earth, uh, really likable person. And uh, most of the time when we hang out, we we go to each other's houses, uh, watch some series, uh, go out to dinner, eat, and uh, yeah, like normal friends, talk, talk a lot of shit. Nicht nur in seiner Familie gab es Vorbilder. Strandbergs Fanherz schlägt für den AC Mailand. When I was young, I always admired my two brothers, of course. Uh, uh, because they had a uh, very big talent uh, and I learned a lot from them. But uh, along the years, I've always uh, looked up to uh, Alessandro Nesta, uh, who played in Milan many years. Uh, I'm a big, big Milan fan, uh, like my two older brothers also. Egal ob Nesta oder Maldini, wie ist er denn so, der Strandberg? Relaxed. Uh, outside the pitch, I'm... Uh, Hopefully a kind, respectful person, but on the pitch I can be a very different person. <laughs> Und was bringt ihn so richtig auf die Palme? I'm not so patient, so uh, if it's a lot of traffic in Hannover, uh, you maybe see one angry uh, person uh, in the car because uh, traffic is not my thing. Strandberg im Strandleben, aber bald auch auf dem Rasen der HDI Arena.